Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome to this episode of Planet Coaster. Uh, I finally have gotten my hands on the new DLC, the Vintage Pack, and decided to start a new park. Um, so this park, it isn't really like a high budget park, I would say, but it also isn't really like a realistically budgeted park because, I don't know, I don't know that much about amusement parks and theme parks to where I could really do that. I just kind of wanted to build something with a bit of a realistic kind of feel to it. Um, but also kind of doing things that I enjoy about the different parks that I've gone to. Um, I'm not really pulling any inspiration from any specific parks, but um, one of my favorite parks in the whole world is uh, Busch Gardens in Williamsburg, Virginia. So I'm pulling quite a lot of inspiration from that specifically. Um, so here what I'm trying to do is um, hide, I guess, that the the really bad tunnel entrance at the beginning of the park because um, I hate how they come out of the tunnel so what I wanted to do was essentially move the entrances um, and make them look like subways um, because uh, in the studios pack they come with this new um, subway entrance uh, that you would have like in a city and I really like it and I really want to try and use it so I guess that, that um, scenery item was kind of the inspiration for this and I don't actually have enough experience in the game to know how to move because I know a lot of people move the uh, entrances and use the hotels and stuff but I just built paths for them to walk under and I um, you'll see later the, the hole in the back were covered with a tunnel for the cars um, but out on these two sides is where the subway uh, entrances and exits will be um, and I didn't really change them like the signs on them because I don't really know what to put on them uh, so they're just exactly the same. Maybe they go to different areas in a, in, a, in a world somewhere, but that's what the people will come out of. And we'll build a little bit of um, plantry around it and some bathrooms. Um, but I was actually having quite a lot of trouble with the terrain. Um, now, if you play the game, I'm, I'm sure you're well aware of the difficulty with the, the terrain editing and the paths together. Um, so I had tried originally to terraform and then add the paths which didn't work so then I tried to build the paths um, by clearing out all of the terrain and just having this huge hole building the the paths and then you know covering it back up but that also had some problems um, but after quite a lot of work I actually recorded a couple um, I'd say maybe about two hours of footage but I didn't put all of it in of me trying just to get these terrains to work um, but this is what I finally got, um, and we'll cover it up with some plants and stuff. Now here's me trying to pick a tree. Uh, <laughs> picking trees, I think, is actually the most difficult thing for me in this game. I'm actually quite a slow builder, um, so that's why these next, I guess, about, it's about four episodes. It's just the beginning of the park. We're working on the parking lot, the main entrance, the ticket booths, stuff like that. Um, we're also going to add a monorail. I think we might add it at the end of this episode, but I'm not sure. Um, but picking trees is one of those things that um, I'm really bad at because I feel like it's a really important part, you know, what trees you pick, uh, you know, you want to try and use the same ones or the same style. So I went with um, these ones, I can't remember the name of them in the game, but they're sort of kind of an oaky feel to them, so I wanted to go with this, like, uh, um, I guess, West Coast Park, or is it East Coast? Yeah, it's the East Coast. Yeah, it would be more like an East Coast Americana, I guess is the style. Well, here is the subway entrances I'm adding in. And I think they're a really an amazing piece. And you can edit the billboard there. I think I might put some fun stuff in there. Um, but for right now, they do you know just what I need them to do. And so I'm going to add in some walls here. Uh, just because I'm trying to cover up as much of that terraforming shame as possible. Um, but you'll see we'll add in some plants, um, reflecting it over. It's actually really quite annoying, um, when I reflect or move a lot of the things over to this other side, it's like slightly off on an angle, so somewhere along the way, my path just slightly went off, you know, a 90 degree angle, which is a little annoying, but it's fine, we managed to work with it. Not everything is going to be perfect if we're trying to do some sort of a realistic park, but yeah. And so I tried to pick a color theme I guess the park would have, um, and I wanted to do something sort of bright. Um, my idea for this park, we'll see here, you can see the colors, I kind of went with this pastel purple, um, a, this pink color, and then you'll see it's a light 
Planet Coaster Blue. I think they work really nice together. They kind of have a feminine, I guess, color scheme to them, but I think it's fine. I think they look great. Some of these trees are putting in. These are part of the tropical collection. Um, but a lot of, lot of plants and flowers are going to be in this park. Um, my idea, like I said, for the park was that I wanted to make it seem, because the new vintage uh, pack comes with a lot of the fun carnival rides, um, I wanted to use the carnival rides we already have in the game and some of the new ones f around the main entrance of the park. And I want to sort of have this feeling that the park was a small, kind of like, I guess, a weekend or day trip park with things like a carousel and the bumper cars and you'd pay to get in. Um, and then, you know, as the park grew, maybe got a steel coaster, it kind of turned more into a theme park. Um, instead of sort of like this uh, permanent carnival. So in the beginning of the park, I want to have more of the the carousel, the bumper cars, the ferris wheel, um, maybe a wooden coaster, um, just to sort of, you know, really embrace that vintage pack. Um, and then as we go on, we can add some of the other fun stuff. Um, but no real major theme in the park, like we're not going to be doing a pirate theme or spooky theme or anything. Um, the rides might have a specific theme, but the whole park in general won't. It'll just be a nice garden theme. Here we're building the tunnel. Um, it actually, it was really difficult to build this tunnel. I've seen a lot of people build them, whether they're, they're pedestrian tunnels or they're car tunnels. Um, but this one was just, I don't know, I've never actually built one myself. And while I was building it, I was like, this, it looks just really gross. Um, but after, you know, I just kind of ignored it for a while and after I finished a lot of the parking lot and a lot more of the trees and stuff, it really started to blend in and look really good. Um, in one of the later uh, episodes you'll see I'm going to put a billboard in there that has a picture of a real life tunnel and it, it does amazing. It makes it look like the tunnel goes on, like for real. So I think it's really cool. Um, and we're also going to add an exit sign, but we don't add that in this episode. Here we're going to add a little restroom building um, outside of the park, sort of for, you know, if you're coming out of parking, uh, coming out of the subway. Um, just a little small building. It'll have a vending machine on the inside. The new vending machines that come in the game are amazing. Uh, I wish they had some, like, snack machines. Um, so it's not just drinks. Maybe we can also get food. But, I mean, I don't want to be, a, you know, a picker. I, they, they just came out, and I think they're amazing. Um, but it's just going to be a little shack here for bathrooms uh, because people are going to be walking quite a distance to get to the ticket booths. And then in the back we're going to add a bit of a, I guess, a maintenance, a uh, little small maintenance yard for the employees. I wanted to add some backstage in this park because I've never actually been able to in any of my other parks. I've just kind of ignored it and didn't add any of it. But I wanted to try and add some backstage for the employees. Um, nothing too extreme. Um, this won't be like a large, like Disney style park. Um, and it won't be like a small budget park either. It'll be somewhere in the middle. A huge focus on scenery. Um, I'm not really that good at building roller coasters. Um, but I'm gonna try my best. Uh, Silverette on YouTube has a really good roller coaster college series that I watched for a while when he posted it. And, um, I think I can use a lot of those videos to help me build some really good coasters. I'm trying to add some paths here. The paths are a bit of a struggle. Pretty much until we get into the park. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Just looking for some signs. <laughs> Giant hot dog. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how the beginning of this park comes out. Um, the parking lots are quite small. I realize after I build it, um, there's no way it would be able to hold all the people, but as of right now, they look okay with the size of the park. Um, but I was thinking as we go on, we might add an additional parking lot for if, you know, if this were a real park, at the beginning, they wouldn't have had a huge parking lot if they were just a, like a permanent carnival kind of thing. So as the park got bigger, maybe they added like an, an annex parking. Oh yes, we're gonna add street lights. I was contemplating whether or not to just do like a stop sign thing or to use the street lights that came in the studios pack. Um, and I went up with the, the street lights just because I thought they were really cool and I really like the way they look, you know, with the, the subway and the cars. So we went ahead and added those. We're gonna add some street lights. Street lights don't really do that much, they don't really add any light. That was actually our first uh, uh, first guest there walking around in that red shirt. 
the first one that I actually walked all the way through. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna try... I think we're gonna add some zebra. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a jump there. Yeah, I experienced some really slow lag. I actually don't know what happened there. It was extremely slow. I had like two frame rates. Uh, so I had to jump out of the game and load it back in. Now it's fine. Um, yeah, so here we're gonna add some of the crosswalking. I was having some trouble. Um, a lot of the people I watch on YouTube that play like City Skylines and also play Planet Coaster are from either England or Australia. So I actually was struggling with like the inspiration photos and videos I was watching with the direction of the roads. Like I, I live in the United States, so we drive on the right side, but like as I was building and looking at inspiration photos and stuff, I was building on the wrong side, putting things on the opposite side. And <laughs> you'll see here, I'm kind of like, wait, I'm trying to figure things out. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. But yeah, it is a right-handed drive. Um. <laughs> oh, so we got some more people in the park. Well, we're just going to finish up some of the parking and some of the driving. I think we're going to add some zebra stripe. Oh, what am I looking for right now? Oh, the one way. Yeah, see, <laughs> I can be a really slow builder. Um. I play. I used to play Planet Coaster a lot, but there was a period where I just stopped playing. Um, I don't know, just, uh, didn't really have time, wasn't really interested. Um, so getting back into it recently with the, uh, the studios and the um, adventure pack, um, and now the vintage pack, <laughs> I've kind of lost that uh, touch I had. So like digging through all of this new stuff we got with the adventure and studios pack like sometimes I don't even remember what's what or I haven't even gotten a chance to really be creative and figure out what I can use so that's why I take a bit of time you'll see me digging through the catalog quite a lot just trying to find things I try and do a little bit of experimenting before I start filming just so I can save a bit of time but you know sometimes like all those rock pieces there you just saw hear me I'm just looking for things just to put in this backstage area that we're building I'm assuming that maybe if the, you know, if stuff for the parking lot, um, maybe there's a, a crew that just works on the parking. Yeah, here we got uh, some signs, because we're going to put those, uh, those new marquee lights on the uh, ticket booth when we build it. So I wanted to put one there, maybe that one broke and they replaced it. But just some stuff for the parking lot. And here we're going to copy and paste it over. Which you'll see, everything is just slightly off. I have to readjust it. More here, I'm flipping it actually. So there we go. The new dumpster. I love those new dumpsters. I think they're absolutely amazing. Just something that we absolutely needed in the game. One thing that I cannot wait for, I'm hoping that one day we'll have a DLC that is some sort of entertainment or shows because I f that is something that is really lacking in these parks because when I go to amusement parks, that is the one thing I love is the shows, the entertainment, singing, dancing, all that stuff and I feel like this game is really lacking in that. We have the rides, and, but other than rides and, you know, buying things, there's not much to do, <laughs> you know, for our guests and Planet Coaster. And um, right now I kind of just use, you know, the animatronics and I'll set them up on like a, a platform and put up some chairs and make it look like it's, you know, some sort of a show. But they don't actually ever go to it, you know, unless you put a, a whole bunch of Vista points. So that would be something really amazing to add. They really, the, the barber shop quartet that they just added is, you know, almost there. They don't have the, the bars holding them up. So I'm really hoping that, that that's what they're experimenting with is some sort of entertainment. Um, some sort of way we can do shows even if they're just ploppable down shows you know like just like the barbershop quartet maybe just a little bit larger seating um, and then sort of like the mechanics in the hotel where you put down the rooms and it registers them maybe you put down chairs or a, an area designated for viewing um, so they can see so I know they can do it with they do it with the fireworks where you don't have to have a viewing area they just kind of see the fireworks and they stop and watch well, anyway, well, after my rent, uh, we're going to go into some glamour shots just to show off the area that we just worked on. But if you enjoyed, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. There'll be plenty more videos coming out, and the park has a lot to be built. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.